The angel wants you to think about beginning a relationship with them as soon as possible, since they think they are the perfect fit for you. They are eager to please you because they have been waiting for this chance for a very long time, and they know that your feelings for them are sincere. Soon, your angel will shower you with countless joys, affection, and warmth. Keep an open mind to all the blessings that are coming your way. Be appreciative of your angel's actions, and tell them you are fortunate to have someone who you can rely on. When you are on that frequency, then what you want will appear. The universe is saying today, I'm opening doors for you. I am going to take you from bottom to the top. I am going to heal your pain and restore what you've lost. Your days of being without are over. This lesson is over. Blessings are in your future. It's a door filled with abundance, joy, healing, and miracles. Are you willing to trust me? Have faith because I won't let you down. The abundance that awaits you will surpass your wildest dreams, for I am a god of abundance and provision. You need to remember that you're a gem, wherever you are on your journey, with whatever role you're fulfilling. You are about to enter a period of reformation and transformation. It follows that your life will manifest in the finest manner imaginable. In a few days, you will begin living the life of your dreams. Never forget that God wants you to have prosperity, joy, and serenity in your life. He desires for you to be liberated from the bonds of harmful forces and influences. He wants you to put your faith in Him and follow His direction while letting go of everything that is no longer in your best interests. All the negativity from these folks will eventually vanish as a result of their persistent efforts. They will depart from your life and you will finally feel at peace. Your Lord is speaking to you today. Consider these items in your house and your life for a moment. Do they add to your happiness and well-being, or do they bring you pain and negativity? Do they fit with God's plan and purpose for your life, or do they divert your attention from it? If you are called to get rid of these things, do so with thankfulness and intention. Release them with love and compassion after giving thanks for the lessons they have taught you. Let's now turn to God in prayer and with the aid of the Holy Spirit's guiding presence, give him praise for this magnificent message. And let us in turn pray. We come before you in prayer today, O Heavenly Father, asking for your direction and safeguarding as we purge anything from our homes and lives that is not in line with your will and purpose for us. As we get rid of any red or black paintings, candles, mirrors, red or black cushions, or other items that convey bad energies or disrespect your holy presence in our homes and lives, we pray for your courage and strength. The angel is saying to you today, the greatest gift is going to be delivered to you soon. The angels want you to unwrap the gift of happiness and bounty shortly. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.